When a Georgia teacher suspiciously opened fire in his classroom, liberals immediately pointed to the incident as the prime reason teachers shouldn't be armed. However, their narrative has been shattered now that his dirty secret behind the shooting has just been exposed. After every mass shooting, liberals incessantly call for legislating gun control, refusing to acknowledge that each new law they've passed has only prompted the increase of gun violence. So, when a deranged psychopath killed 17 students and staff members at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School last month, it was no surprise that the gun control propaganda was being spewed from every major news outlet. Proving they don't actually want a safer environment for our children, liberals immediately shot down President Donald Trump's proven solution that training and arming educators would substantially decrease school shooting fatalities. Once they couldn't procure a legitimate argument to back up their desire for gun grabbing, liberals seized the opportunity to point to a suspiciously convenient isolated incident in which an armed teacher opened fire in his classroom. However, our skeptical assessment of such a perfectly timed event has proven correct now that the armed educator's little secret has been exposed. According to Dalton High School student Chandi Chaston Georgia teacher Jesse Randall Davidson had made comments to students prior to opening fire in his classroom that he was avidly against President Donald Trump's idea of arming teachers, suggesting that the shooting was a staged political event to push for gun control, according to the New York Daily News. Davidson's dangerous and deranged stunt wasn't the only detail exposed recently. In fact, before his Facebook account was suspiciously made private, it showcased his liberal values, including his disdain for President Trump as well as the Second Amendment. However, the implications once again provide evidence that the problem is mental illness. Dalton police confirmed that in 2016, Davidson had walked into their department, rambling about confessing to killing a woman, the Daily Mail reports. Although police investigators weren't able to verify if his admission held any merit, they stated that Davidson was taken to a hospital because he was delusional and thinking about hurting himself. Still, he was able to continue teaching at the high school and allowed to possess firearms thanks to failed liberal policies. Unfortunately, Davidson's liberal fearmongering has brainwashed several emotionally vulnerable students into buying into his failed political agenda. Chaston confirmed that, while she believes that Davidson's unhinged crime spree was politically motivated, the fear it caused has effectively swayed her and other students to support liberal gun control. She has since unwittingly become the latest political child prop used by leftists to advocate for their unconstitutional agenda. Unfortunately, Chaston has been spooned at liberal rhetoric and doesn't understand that deranged criminals with an agenda like Mr. Davidson don't follow gun laws. In fact, Davidson was in a gun-free zone when he illegally unloaded his firearm on law-abiding, unarmed students. Everything about the incident reeks of liberal propaganda and a staged event. The shooter is once again an anti-Trump, anti-Second Amendment liberal lunatic who has a history of violent and mentally ill behavior. Tell us again how legislating more gun restrictions will stop a law-breaking criminal from shooting up another